Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you again today. And I'm coming at you because I wanted to discuss a little bit about the truck and, um, and our incident earlier. Um, I wanted to discuss with you guys why I reveal certain things and why I actually get on here. Um, I actually get on here because this is part of who I am. This is part of the process for me going through life and being able to overcome hurdles and also in order for me to work through some issues that I may have and this is a form of my therapy. Um, you may choose a different type of therapy. Now um, I choose not to do you know formal therapy with laying on a couch and talking to a psychiatrist that may be a have not dealt with some of the issues that I've dealt with but just basically has some book knowledge. Um, B they may be um, cultural differences, there may be um, environmental differences that I've maybe had to grow up in and maybe they can't relate to. Um, you know you may choose a different form as I stated before. Um, as in my faith we don't believe in uh, Christianity actually fronts upon, up, upon meditation. Um, certain types of meditation and you may choose to chant and meditate. Um, as for me, um, although that's different from what I would do, you know, you have to do what's best for you and what gets you through life and gets you um, through a hurdle or something that you can pull strength from. Um, as for me, I pull strength from God and I also pull strength from, um, you know, the people that I choose to be around and that's on here, um, I pull strength from you guys. And um, I'm able to learn from you guys as you learn from me. Um, I think it's a healthy relationship for us as women to be able to have an open forum and discuss um, because you can give your opinion and you know maybe it could cause a, maybe me to think differently or to see something that I maybe didn't see. Um, so I think this is an actual healthy form. Um, it's a form that can't be with so much hurtful uh, because I can delete and approve. You know, and in real life or behind the camera, we can't do that. So this is actually um, quite a interesting way to be able to um, give of myself, um, but I can also censor how much I give and how much I get back. So this is why I open my life up and I think I do so in a very respectful manner um, keeping in mind that I am not only a woman and a lady but I am a mother and I think that I want to instill in my daughter that it's not always healthy to keep your mouth shut and be silent. Um, it's a lot of people that have experienced domestic violence in forms of physical abuse as well as mental abuse and they've experienced that because it's been so much embedded in us, especially in our community, the African American community, where we've been told that it's frowned upon and you shouldn't open your life up or you shouldn't quote unquote tell your business. Um, and that's how a lot of abuse has gone on in our lives. I know many of you have been sexually abused as I have as well. And we've been told even from things of that nature, um, we've been told that silence is necessary. Um, you're going to be looked at in a certain light if you reveal certain things and if you tell the truth to certain people, um, you know, you're going to be perceived as a certain way. Well, as for me, um, I, like I said, I think it's healthy for us as women to gather around and to have an open forum um, and to express our pain um, because it's important for us to not just get on here and show our pretty pink wig. And it's important for us to show more than just our eyelashes and our um, lipstick because we're so much more than that. And I think that it's important for us, in order for us to learn from each other, to show, yes, our pretty pink wig, but to also show when we're crying and when we're, when we're happy and when we're overfilled with joy. I think that it's important to not just show one side because that's not realistic. Um, and that's how a lot of women go through problems with thinking that they're not good enough or they're broken or they're need, they need fixing because we all see people that only want to show 
the bright or the good side of themselves. And although I'm a blessed woman, I do think that I've, been, I've done a pretty good job with showing the ups and the downs in my life. And I think, I've, again, I've done that in a way that is very respectful to myself, very respectful to my family, and very respectful to my children above all. Um, you know, I, I, I appreciate all the comments, and whether you disagree or agree with me, I appreciate it because even if you disagree with me, it, it just says a lot that you've taken the time um, and energy to ask me or to draw attention to you that I need to pull back a little bit or give a little bit less of myself because you actually took time to actually think about that and then, you know, try to bring that to my attention and you didn't have to. So that actually shows me a level of caring and I appreciate that even if we are disagreeing. Um, I'm just trying to express why I choose to express myself openly on YouTube and why I choose to reveal some things that I reveal. By all means, it's no way that I reveal everything because if I revealed everything, trust me, it will blow your mind. Um, so I'm very mindful of what I say. I've always been mindful of what I say. So when I say it, trust me, I've said it for a reason. Whether you understand the reason or not, I've said it for a reason. Um, I also have an issue with, I battle my spiritual side um, because, you know, I do know the Word of God and because I do know the Word of God and I do have a personal relationship with Him, I battle the fact that I've married a man that I am not equally yoked with. And a lot of people say, you know, stay with your husband because that's your husband and that's who you've married and you gave that promise before God. But what do you say to that person or when that is drawn to the person's attention that I've married a man that spiritually I'm not supposed to be with in the first place. Why? Because we were never equally yoked. However, I did so and now what do you do? Do you continue to stay even though you went against God in the first place by marrying a man that you're unequally yoked with? Because either way, if you think about it, you're going against God. So that's one of my battles that I've always dealt with. I've also had people on here say, I thought he was such a perfect man or, um, you know, you just were saying that he's a good man the other day. And, you know, people running down a whole list of things that I've said. And obviously they haven't watched my videos enough because people that have rolled with me from a long time ago, and I'm talking about like six, six months ago, people that have rolled with me, and if you go back on videos, the titles will be are basically self-explanatory if you go back on my old videos. It's been for like six months that I've been battling trying to hang in there with Chuck. So this is not some, you know, to people that's new to my channel, this is something that's spare a moment. But people that have been with me for a long time, and you can tell by the comments who's been with me for a long time, they know that I went above and beyond um, with as far as trying to stick it out. Um, me and uh, Chuck and I are totally different. You know, we have total different backgrounds. We have uh, different goals in life. We have different personalities. We have different levels of education. We have different levels of um, uh, different hearts, different ways of thinking, period, in general about everything. Um, we're totally different people. And, you know, um, I've battled the fact that I've continuously given 110% and it's seeming as though I only get back about 65%. So when people say continue to stay with that, it's almost like it's almost like you're asking or you're saying that someone has to settle. And I know I do believe in the institution of marriage, um, but I don't believe that I have to settle for just anything. I'm sorry, I just can't be that type of woman that tolerates any and everything. I can't be that type of woman that has self-esteem issues so low and so much in her life that, you know, you can throw her scraps on the floor and, you know, scraps of, of you know, trash and tell her that that's, that's the good stuff. You know, I, I can't be that type of woman. 
I can't be that needy woman. I can't be that um, woman with low self-esteem. I can't be that woman that keeps pressing forward even though she's not getting much in return. I don't believe, um, by all means, if a person is, is uh, giving a lot of themselves, sure I believe in pressing forward. But I don't believe in pressing forward when you're not getting that in return. And I just can't, if you don't define a woman that is just not going to tolerate anything that's thrown at her and she's going to demand respect and she's going to demand your uh, appreciation and if you can't understand that and you can't respect that then that maybe is a problem in your life that you may tolerate almost anything and like I said I have no problem I want to make this clear I have no problem taking um, pushing forward if that person is giving as much as I'm giving but if that person is not giving and being uh, compromising as much as I am then at that point it's not pushing forward it's, at that point you're being a fool okay and that I won't be okay um, won't be for Chuck won't be for Sean who's in jail won't be for um, any other man or woman for that matter um, that I can't because then I'm compromising to the point where I'm compromising myself and my own integrity and, and my own values and my own morals and who I actually am um, as a person and as a woman as a mother as a wife that I won't do okay so um, this is kind of a long video this video is just tackling why I actually get on YouTube and reveal these things the next video will be specifically about the things that um, I've had to overlook and the things that I've you know tried to cover up and the things that I've tried to protect others from um, from seeing and you know um, and trying to uh, create an illusion for somebody else's benefit and all of that I, I will be talking about that in the next video um, so again this video was specifically about why I do what I do the next video is going to be why I made the decision I made. So, um, by the way, Chuck is gone. It's now 6.30 in the evening. Um, he has actually gone. And it's kind of amazing. The same people that he sat on the phone with and degraded me and talked about me like a dog, too. Nobody answered the phone today when he needed a ride to, not a ride, when he needed to stay on um, their couch or when he needed a place to stay. Nobody answered. Nobody was there. So, that says a lot. So, anyway, thank you so much for viewing. Comment, subscribe, and be blessed.